How's things progressing over here? Are we certainly not building up an excess anytime soon, but... I might iron up this coven stone generator while I'm here. I've got a lot of iron, so... Yeah, let's iron it. Um, well, now we see I'm, I'm processing stuff as fast as I'm making it, so... Cobblestone, so there's no, there's no real rush on that department, so... Hey, I'll just let things do their thing at them for now. Said thing, a little too much there. Right, let those grow. Let it grow, let it grow. <laughs> I don't feel good about that. Nor should I. Right, um... Shears, many shears. Right, okay. Let's clean up my inventory for now. So, what have I got? Stone. Stone can go into this kind of weird generic chest over here. God, I need to sort these. Silkworm. Well, apparently there are already silkworms in here, but I'll put silkworms into the farming gubs chest. I need to, to upgrade these all to small storages at some point soonish. Materials on you can go in there, because where books go. Bone meal goes in there. Coal can also go in there. Actually, I put coal in the compressor, just because for now, unless I need coal, which I don't particularly, I can store it in the block form in here. Another crucible. Um, that can go in the assorted governs chest. Um, as can glass. Torches. More torches. More glass. Iron can stay with me. Compressed crook. Right, let's put some things in the tool, in the tool shed. Tool shed. Tool shed. Yeah, buckets are a tool, aren't they? Definitely. Um, and then I'll keep the wiry things on me because you never know they could be useful. Yeah, since I've got the extra node, I might as well wire up a third barrel at this point. So yay, that's worked automatically. We've got no dirt. Um, possibly because the barrels are full. Um, hmm. Oh, let's try to pull the dirt back out again. I thought I might have to do this. I need a separate output chest or an input chest, or you need to do weird stuff in order to convert between them, which is fine. I can handle that. Um, just need another chest, uh, like an output chest. Or I need a filter on there that doesn't extract dirt. You know, this is a good time to show off filters. Um, I have no idea how to make them. I know what they are and roughly how they work. Item filter. Um, I'll just filter. There we go. These things. So what do I need? Redstone string and... Thing. Have I got that much redstone? Oh god. Oh no, I'm real, real low on redstone. I'm going to have to do some dust sieving at some point. So, no filtery stuff for now. Let's just make another chest. Basically, you have a filter that can either only extract certain items or specifically not extract certain items. But I'll cross that tree when I come to it. Um, so let's put another one there. Let's put a thing there, there. And have a little output chest there. So that should semi-automate dirt production. There. Right. Build some shears. Got a lot of iron. I can, I can afford that. And actually, where's my hammer? Oh, it's in the tool shed, of course. Because um, I'm actually... I, don't, I think I'm pretty good for wood for now. I can always grow more, but it might be nice to have some compostables to compost. Um, that's building up a lot of extra beans. That's nice, actually. So that means the, I am in electricity surplus, at least, which is nice. So that means my limiting factors are both the speed of the cobblestone generator and the speed of these things. And that's where it gets difficult. This can be upgraded to a faster speed by adding more hammers. The sieve just can't. The sieve just runs at the speed it does. An enchanted mesh, actually, I think might run a bit faster. Um, anyway, let's grow these plants. Yep, that'll do for now. Let's mince through some shears and some hunger. I think I hope I don't starve myself to death from over um, overzealous vein mining. Right, that was good. Got a lot of leaves. <laughs> Holy crap. Right, let's set the um, the compostomatic running. Obviously, kind of the limiting factor is how fast it can extract stuff. Uh, no, the limiting factor actually is the speed of the composting itself. But hey, with three running, it's like, it's it's doing it automatically, so it will keep it nice and efficient. So we'll just keep those in there and see what that does. I'll grab some more wood out of this actually for now, because I'm in no desperate need of... Oh, hungry. Ow. Oh yeah, I noticed it before I took damage this time though. I'm getting better. Don't need to put a great deal more in them because they are. Well, I suppose I'll both keep them topped up. It means I'll be burning some excess wood that's a bit wasteful, but the trade off is that I am then also. I know it's able to just handle itself. Oh, time for my barrels to start filling up. These ones are covered, aren't they? These ones don't really matter because I've already got the thing. So I've got six dirt in there. It's just, it's just plugging away. That's quite neat. Um, 
yeah, ideally I'll have all of these running automatically at some point, but yeah, it'll just mince away happily, which is a good position to be in, really. So, I can't quite build my... Well, I can start building down to where my farm's going to be. Oh yes, you heard me correctly. Down to where my farm's going to be. Farm's going to be below, so I can look down on it, which can be cool. Um, because also one of the things is build a level below your base, which I haven't really done yet properly, so I'm going to build down. And this is going to be an interesting engineering challenge. Do I want to just get some cobbles and get some dust sieving going just so I can... Yeah, I probably do. Uh, tool shed I don't have on me, do I? I... Wand. No. Let's make a wand. Make an iron wand. Got my iron hammer. Nice. That generated a lot of dust very quickly. Hmm. Vein mining and wands and stuff, they are a very nice combination together. Like You do get through materials like iron and stuff like that a lot, but... The trade-off is you get through stuff faster as well, so that's the thing, like, you're not losing anything. Right, got only two reds now out of that, really? Well, that seems a bit crap. Oh, no, there's more that's been launched across the world. Uh, what do I need redstone for, though? Oh, it's an item filter. Eh, well, I mean, I, I don't really need that anymore, but hey, the redstone will still be bloody handy, I've no doubt. Right, let's slap some of my compressible stuff in here. Nickel, stone, lad. Post and dust. Right, now, time for an expedition. Let's put redstone into the, uh, that. Gunpowder. That could be handy. Now, everything of even remote value is going to go away for now. Because I need to build down to the level below, which means I need to do a kind of dodgy suspension maneuver, which is. Not going to kill me, but there's certainly a non-zero chance of it even killing me. Um, so, gotta take ways to avoid that. Um, which means, amongst other things, oh, let me cross anything else off this. I mean, I did kind of do that. No, that doesn't count. I don't think. Um, so, uh, let's eat some apples and then put the remaining apples away. Be good. Um, apple can go in there. No, apple should go in the. F this, that's the wood chest. This is the food chest, kind of. Um, bread in there, and then everything else is tools. Right, so. You need to make this thing at least 25 blocks away, which means that the main way I think I'm going to do that, I think I'm going to build 20, let's be sure, 26 blocks down. Like vertically down. Then build 26 blocks across. And then I'll be kind of like far enough, but it's the down is going to be the hard part. Um, so let's take these, push that back in. And to measure this correctly, I'm just going to take just the number of blocks that I need, which is 26. And I'm going to take a load of ladders as well, I think. So I'll bring wood and make some ladders now. Right, so how are we going to do this? We start off with a bucket. Which will be found in the tool chest because oh bucket stack now that's nice because buckets are of course as everyone knows technically tools. Um, we'll build it down off here I think. So that's nice and distant anyway. So we'll make ourselves a little hole and we drop out and we drop and we drop our water there. There we go. And now we balance precariously in the water while building down. And I don't need to measure this because I've already measured out the number of blocks I have, so this is fine. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, apparently I'm eating the rain. That was very disturbing for a moment. No, I didn't know what was causing that. Cool. Now let's stick my head out and get some breath before I drown. And then we go back up, placing ladders, ideally. Or, or not. Well, this is problematic. Now I need to make a platform down here. Oh. Let's put that there. And there we go. Right, got a little platform started. Build it out a little bit. And then we can start building our way back up with ladders. There we go. Ladders are weird. Water reacts very strangely to ladders in that it can't touch a block that's got a ladder on it, so... Let's build up this way. Should just get rid of the water as well. Though it, this isn't going to be accessed by a ladder eventually. I'll probably make stairs down to it. But for now, quick access will be done via ladders. Right, let's pick this water back up. And I'm... One ladder short. 
That's very annoying, isn't it? Let's make another quick one, then. Ladders are just a hate shape out of sticks. Over both running at full tilt. How's dirt coming along? 28 dirt, that's pretty good. Just running away. Automatically, lovely. Right, so now I want to build, let's say, 28 away. So, oop, that was scary. This is why I want stairs rather than a ladder. But I think it'd be nice to look down on something, kind of, rather than everything being the same height. This will give a bit of... I'm trying to build as up and down as regularly as I can to kind of mix it up a little bit. That's as far back as I need to go there. Ah, we're a nice distance away. Excellent, this will be perfect for spawning animals on. Now I need a lot more wood, and I can start turning this into a stairway. Let's melt more of this cobblestone down since we've got it. Lava will be invaluable for me. Should make a tank to store that at some point. So I'm gonna lava's gonna be my main source of stuff for the foreseeable future. By stuff I mean energy when I switch over to it eventually. But for now, got more stuff to do. So wood. Wood is what I need. Right, that <laughs> should should hopefully be enough. Now I could do some mathematics to calculate how far I need to go and start building up, but instead I'm going to do it a bit of a tricksier way. Which will basically be... Ow! Start here. And build one in the corner. Then turn that into stairs. And then basically just proceed this way and make sure I just keep extending stairs out. It'll be extremely solid of a structure, and will be way more inefficient than it should be. Because basically, yeah, like... Building down is, is hard in this. You can't just build down without like the power of flight, really. So you kind of have to build vertically down, and then to make it into stairs, I've got to do this huge solid structure, where in reality I could just kind of... If I was building up, I'd just build up a, just straight up the diagonal, but this means it's going to be a filled triangle, which is inefficient, but it'll look nice in the long run. And that's what really matters to me, <laughs> genuinely. It's not like I'm low on wood anyway. I've got a lot of... Wow. I haven't got a massive amount of wood, but I have got a massive supply of wood, like I've got. I can generate wood extremely easily when necessary, so. Plus this gives me something to do while I'm waiting for the dirt to make, because this field down here is going to need to be made of dirt in order to grow animals on it. Because uh, animals will only spawn on grass, um, and grass is dirt with grass planted on it. But we're getting there, bit by bit. And then I'll stare it up when it's done. the thing I've forgotten is that every step of this, like every kind of layer I add to it diagonally, is exponentially using up more wood than the last, so this actually will take a hell of a lot of wood, and in retrospect may have been a bad move, but I'm kind of too far committed now to turn back, so I need to look cool in the end, certainly it'll be this big wooden staircase stretching down to where I can look down on my animals. That's the nice thing, I kind of want to see why animals are spawning, so it'd be nice to be able to look down at it rather than having to come over and check, because that's the thing, when everything's like the same level. You can't really look at other stuff, so having a nice bit of 3D structure is quite nice. It means the base is a bit more spread out than it possibly needs to be, but you know me, I like aesthetics. Right, I think I'm nearly out of wood, I won't be able to get another decent run out of it, so you have to go if I can get some more. I don't know how close to the top I am. Oh, I'm actually pretty close, I can just build it with a few ladders. I'm going to grow some more trees actually in the meantime. Yep. Up to 48 dirt, that's nice. Where's the farmer's friend at? Not the farmer's friend. It's been the tool shed, anyway. That thing, yeah. The Treeper. Let's slap another bit of copper in it, I think. See, the other thing, I'm not generating copper, though, so the Treeper will run out of beans before too long. Ah, well. Oh, I had more wood on me. I had a shit ton more wood on me. Oh, no, I didn't. I had a bit more. Not a massive amount, but yeah. Oh, well, that's the Treeper busted again. Good lord. Vein mining is powerful magic. I'm also very hungry. Oh, and it stopped raining. Look at that. Oh, ow. Turns out that's still far enough to hurt me. Oh, 
And there we go. It's completed. So, let's make sure we light it up properly. Um, ah, lighting up is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to place them on the side here, aren't I? So let's do one there. Right, I'm going to briefly try and make a capacitor, which is basically a battery. Uh, basic power capacity, uh, that's different things, draconic flux. Basic capacitor bank, that's what I want, so what do I need for that? Block of redstone, oh god, no, block of redstone plus capacitor. Oh, okay, I haven't got enough redstone for that, no chance. Yeah, no. Okay, because I was going to be saying, it'd be nice to have like a supply of it here. So that just if I do forget to feed these things. But these blocks of coal that it's spitting out do burn for a hell of a long time, so. I'm going to grab all this gobs and liquefy it all. While I then go down and start building the farm. Well, it's more of a ranch, really, I suppose. Now, you see, there's the advantage of having your bloody comedy-sized smeltery that we have. The gold, the lead, the nickel, and the iron can all just go ahead like that, and I'll just come back when they're done. Ha 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 ha. Do love the comedy smeltery. Right, so let's grab some of this dirt that's been producing for me. Thank you. 63. Lovely. Oh, we are nearly out of... Comp oh, we are out of compostables. God, it gets through them quickly, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Well, time to make some more shears, I suppose. Can I make lead shears? I keep asking that, and I think the answer is still a very clear no. 16 should be enough. Eight pairs of shears. Should be able to gather some decent gubs for that. Set that a running. That's quite nice. I thought I was going to make actual ops. I was going to make a proper supply of obsidian rather than the silly one I had. So I believe I can make a stone barrel. Oh, do I need a slab at the bottom for it? Is that it? Um, probably do. Yep. Then I believe if I basically just slap this barrel, well, I'll just put it on the end here. And then we just pour, we put lava in it and pour water over it. That makes us some obsidian. Because I'm kind of full of lava in here at the moment, so might as well do something with it. So we put the lava in it, and then we pour the water over it. There we go. And there, yay, there we go, we've got obsidian out. Fantastic. This is quite an easy process to water make, because you just have it, it's just as long as something keeps, as long as there's running water there and something keeps placing the lava in it. Um, and you can nicely just yeah, automate obsidian production, which is very handy. For now, it will be a useful thing to have. Because um, you can use it in all sorts of crafting recipes, as you can see. You might catch obsidian tools and stuff. Obsidian blocks, obsidian armor, ender tanks, ender chests. Ooh. But I can even smelt it with coal to make dark steel. Wow, that's cool. There we go. Now, that's hooked up a little more there. Um, I'm actually going to move this around a little bit to clip some of my own inventory space for that first. There we go, that's a nice symmetrical setup. So, the compostables are drawn out of the chest above there, deposited into the various barrels, composted and then pulled out into the dirt chest. Wonderful.